Hello, everybody. Hello. We are here with some more goodie. Little, oh god. Some more little goodie two shoes. X bar is sadly not here, so it's just me, myself, and I again. Uh, they might join, they might not, because technically in Discord I'm in the streaming VC, and they're technically in another VC, so they might join, they might not. Doesn't really matter too much because I'm mostly the one reading everything by myself. It's just nice to have con like conversation. But this is actually my second stream of the day. This is my first time ever doing two streams in one day. This is more late at night, I believe. This is like nine, getting close to 10. So I'm not sure how long I'm going to be doing this stream personally. I might do it for, um, right an hour or two definitely i want to probably do it for like at least i'm gonna try go for two hours but i don't know i mean i've already eaten because i have like tacos right here and i eat most of it so no actually what am, what am i doing today I, I looked at it and then just kind of looked away um i need to investigate the notes of course i need to do that head to kiefer uh kieferberg village okay well oh yeah you. You. Flock. You be a good boy now, Flock. We'll be back later. How come that goat likes you so much? He doesn't seem to be too fond of me. Yeah, Flock, if you didn't see last stream, um, Flock was, um, he wasn't acting so cute. Because I, mm, yeah, he wasn't acting as cute as he was before. And as soon as Rose Marine came, he started act he started acting all like cute and like nothing happened. This goat scares me. I don't I don't necessarily like this goat anymore. He scares me. Uh, it's a little embarrassing, but I made it a habit to carry food for him in my pocket, you see. Okay. So you bribe him, that's it? Oh, I can't help myself at least. The flop is just not saying anything. What a weird goat. Can't deal with these shenanigans. I don't know if it was a shenanigan. I think like last stream we also went to the woodlands. Which I didn't know was a thing. I mean I heard people talk about the woodlands. But I didn't actually go to them. I didn't know they were actually. I thought the woods right here was the woodlands. I thought this is the woodlands. Because you know the woods. But the woodlands is an actual place. Like of course it's a place but. A place that's not this place, basically, is what I'm saying. So, yeah. And there were some crazy butterflies and things. It, it was crazy. I died so many times <laughs> last stream. Uh, it was wild. I hated every second of it. Okay, where are we going? Uh, how much how much bread do I have, first off? I gotta go with items? Yes, there we go. I need to sell these things. Yes, I want to sell these things because they sell they can sell for a reasonable price. And right now I'm kind of poor. So if this really could like give me a lot more money to work with, that would make things so much easier. But I mean, right now I'm looking pretty good for food and sanity and health. So I don't necessarily need anything. It's just, I think, I think I need grape juice for Muffy. So I think I need to go buy grape juice, which that costs, mm, costs a little bit. We have grapes, so that's pretty good. Um, we have a bunch of key items. So literally, this just things we can sell. Now, hopefully, there's no like mechanic where I have to keep some of these items to like give certain to certain people. Because if so, then that's gonna be, eh, it's gonna be um, not so nice for us. Let's put it like that, because. I don't want to get to a place where I need these items for like a quest and then don't need them. Oh. Where's everyone? Oh, do folks usually gather here? I wonder if something happened. Come down, Rosemary. We must find out what's going on. Oh, she just disappears like that. <laughs> she disappears. At least I was wondering. 
And please don't get angry with me. Out with the rosemary. I was looking around and found an old blanket for flock. Not flock again. No. Doesn't need anything. What blanket? Uh, the one you had tucked away in the pantry? Oh, that's fine. I was going to use it as a dust rag anyway. You thought I'd be mad about that? Oh, I didn't mean... You live here now, Rosemary. You're so fond of that goat, too. There's not much I can do about it, even if I wanted to. Oh, Elise. It's not that big a deal, for goodness sake. No, it's not for goodness sake. <laughs> Where is everyone? Let's go to the church. Because Leb is usually here. Oh. There is actually no one in the church. Okay. And where is everyone? Oh, there's some people down here. Anyone down here before I go wandering off? No, no one's down here. No one's usually down here. But sometimes they are. What's going on here? Oh, Elise. Mr. What, what is that? Eugene, that's what we called him. Eugene's horse got stolen. What? In a small community? Who can steal the horses? I mean, who would steal the horses, really? Is this true, Mrs. Uh, Mariel? Mariel? Did I call her that? Marily? I call her Mariel, I think. I'm not a liar, Elise. Guess I'm afraid it's true. Everyone's acting strange, Elise. That's natural, my dear. This isn't something to take lightly. I even heard some folks say they were hag-written. Hag-written? Shouldn't spread such nonsense about town, Rune. But old Joshin said the horse was stolen by the witch. Oh, for goodness sake. The poor lad couldn't keep, couldn't be more heartbroken. For good reason. Go on now, I'm looking after the children for the time being. Okay, so someone stole the horse. Interesting. They think it's the witch. Once again, it's the witch, which actually probably is an actual witch. Who's trying to take a lease so she can have children again? Question mark? She says something about a womb, and that's already quite interesting. Oh. Oh, another leather purse. It seems like we're just getting tons of these things, so me selling them wouldn't be probably a bad thing. Anyone down here? Uh, nope. Uh, anyone over here? Hello? Hello? They're probably up here. Yeah, that's where the horses are. Um, I'm gonna quickly sell these things to see what kind of like how much money I can get. Oh, everyone's basically down here still. Okay, I want to sell things. I might could have sold this stuff at the um the bakery, but I don't know. Oh, it's you, Elise. What is it? Uh, I'm actually selling today. Ooh, ooh. I'm about to be rich. Sell. Sell. Oh my god. Sell. Oh my god. I can sell these too. I don't. Yeah, I can't sell these things. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't let you sell things that you can use as a key item. Actually, that's a lie because. Well, a key item. But if it's an item that, you know, can be um, used differently, because they will let us use sell the bread and stuff since what if like on the first day when we were trying to get bread for Muffy we sold all our bread that's why Lev gave us the bread of course but besides the point besides the point uh now that's done I want to buy some grape juice because I need some grape juice for Muffy I'm actually buying um oh there's a lot of things oh there's spice rust what is that Oh, there's a lot. There's a roast turkey. Oh my god. How much does it cost? 50? You gone insane. 
<laughs> no, thank you. There's hearty soup. It's 30. It's really good. Don't tell me, like I promise you, don't tell me that as time goes on, we have to actually get the stuff for Muffy. She's gonna want a hearty soup. She's gonna want a freaking roast turkey that's 50. Like a one, like two thirds of my entire bank account. The lady's gone insane. I'll get some bandages, like two of them would be good. We think we have more than enough matches, if I'm being quite honest. Um, I can get one, no, that's 30. Ooh. I don't think we necessarily need it right now, so I I think we're pretty good for the Saint Walparga oil. And I'm not getting the turkey. I just don't see a need in the turkey for right now. But it's nice to know that we have that there. Yep, that's uh. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Once again, I love her art. I love her art. She's like the best, the best one of everyone else, in my opinion. Just saying, if she was a, a capture target, she'd be on the list. Uh, what's going on over here? Ought to let them know. Ought to we Marlin? Marlin? Ought to let them know. Ought to, I'm not even trying to say that anymore. x is not here to help correct my um, terrible, terrible grammar. So, you know. If this is what... If this is about the horse... It goes further than that, at least. Whoever took uh, Eugene's horse broke into the pigsty. They broke into the, <gasps> the cute piggies. No, took our pigs, saddled, saddled, saddled him like a horse, and locked him in the stables. Oh, they saddled him. They put him in the stable. Oh my God! Can you believe such a thing, at least? No. I don't understand. Okay, uh, it's something I want to point out that I feel kind of weird. She looks like a clown. I'm sorry. I know, like, I look at her and I see her eyes, and I'm like, okay, her eyes are blue. But then I see her, her eyebrows look blue as well. And if you look kind of like, if you see her eyes, if you kind of like look at a different angle, her eyes look like clown makeup. Like, the blues up here, the blues down there. There's something I wanted to point out because why not? Can you believe such a thing, Elise? I can. I very much can. A vowel prank, that's what it is. You know, I think stealing people's livelihood and locking them in the stable is a, such a good prank, you know? <laughs> I need folks to know Bernhard has nothing to do with this. All of Huberberg knows you would never do such a thing, Merlin. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. We'll see where this takes us, I suppose. Thank you, lass. What in the, what in the Lord's name is going on? Hopefully they don't try to, um... This isn't, like, something that's going to be trying to put on Rosemary. Because it, it, maybe it could be her, but I don't think it would be. But they try, might try to turn it against her. I can already foresee it happening. Or if not, Rosemary, I can see it be put on Elise for some reason. Oh, I wouldn't know about that, Dorothea. Uh, there you are too. There you are, you too. Okay. Uh, we can always ask Elise Bernhild. Ask me about what, Miss Dorothea? Oh, but before we do, have you heard Elise? About Mr. Eugene's horse? I know. Oh, the poor lad. Yes, oh poor lad. You think my father's name is comp comprised to... Compromised? I think compromised. There you go. Mr. Bernhardt? Someone put one of the horse's saddles on one of my father's pigs, Elise. Oh, they didn't saddle the person. They saddled the pig. They put one of the saddles. Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to see now. So they stole the horses and then they took one of their saddles and put it on the pig. So now it's looking like a setup. It's a sick joke, that's what it is. Sounds like it. From what I'm hearing. 
Oh, Elise, you're leaving Kieferberg, aren't you? Maybe one day, Miss Brunhild, but are you? We've been discussing the idea for a matter of fact. Seems like a lot of the younger crowd are kind of like, maybe it's time to pack it up and leave this crazy place, because these old people are a little, a little cuckoo. Look how cocoa puffs, if you know what I mean. Oh, how could this happen to us? Yes, how could it happen? Anyone down here? Nope. Hello. Taking Eugene's horse was too cruel. I wonder who could do such a thing. The poor lad was just getting his business started too. Apparently he wasn't going to be able to um, make it to the vessel because he had so many orders and stuff to do. So it was like, you know, he was basically booming and stuff. But now he can't do anything with any horses. Hard to believe he provoked any kind of ill will. I doubt any of our townsfolk could do such a thing. Uh-huh. Our townsfolk. And I don't think Rose Marine is our townsfolk, so this is looking a little, you know, not so good for her. I agree, Henrich. I've heard Elizabeth's goats aren't doing so well either. All right, well, we'll go have a look. Keep calm when it comes to old Josh and Elise. He's very much convinced that this was the witch's doing. Just what, just what we needed, isn't it? Come on, Rosemary, let's go to the stables. Ah, good day. Oh, this isn't looking so hot for us. Let's put it like that. Oh, does it, was there anyone actually up here? Because I didn't look all the way up here. Oh, yeah, there were. Oh, Leb and, um... What's her name? Um... Freya, there you go. Had a little bit of a brain fart there. Leb and Freya. Ah, Elise, Rosmarine. Good morning, Freya, Leb. Except we'll never say her full name. You've heard, I'm assuming, about Mr. Eugene Sources. Oh, it's been awful, yes. Everyone's been on edge. Folks don't know what to do with themselves. For good reason, I'd say, but... Mr. Eugene was so invested in his business, too. Old Josh and Fullery isn't helping anyone. I can already tell. They were hag-written. I don't know what hag-written written is. Is that like robbery? Hag written? Is it like written? Is it like writing? I'm assuming it's some kind of like theft, like uh, horse theft, I would assume. Something tells me you know what that means. Leb? <laughs> oh, of course, it's when. Oh, she wouldn't know Leb Chan. Leb. I call it Leb Chan. I don't know what that is actually either. I gotta look that up later. Who knows what it is right now though? I'm saved. I suppose not. What a way to start the day. I think I'll take a look around town. Or is it about town? Better be careful, Elise. Folks are getting rather nervous about this. I get it, lab. I'll be careful not to rile them up. Yep, they're about to pull some kind of witch shenanigans on me. You're the witch! The witch! I can already foresee it. Oh, hello! There you are, you two. You're not looking so cheerful, Miss Elizabeth. Oh, it's difficult to stay cheerful with all these going on. It's so unfortunate. You have to wonder who did do such a thing. It can't have been easy, that's for certain. Now Elizabeth's goats are feeling ill too. Oh, I'm such a bad. I'm such a. I'm at such a loss. Feeling ill, Miss Elizabeth. The milk's giving off this sour smell since yesterday. Their eyes are looking glossy too. I don't know what to think of it. The only one who could lend me a hand is Eugene, but you wouldn't want to trouble him, I see. 
It'll be fine, my dear. We'll have a word with Father Hans, alright? What is... Is Father Hans a veterinarian all of a sudden? I mean, maybe he could pray to Walpurga, St. Walpurga, and that might do something. It's kind of a miracle, but... You know, that's not a veterinarian. Probably go to someone specialized, but, you know. Yeah. Oh. Oh no. The crazy lady. I like her, but she's crazy. <laughs> I'm telling you folks, this can't be good. Uh, it clearly can't, oddly. The lad's horse vanished. You shouldn't believe such nonsense, Miss Otterly. It's far from nonsense, lass. Those horses were hag-ridden. I still don't know what that means. <laughs> that hardly matters, Otterly. I'd say Eugene having lost his horses is a big concern. Oh, you folks never take anything seriously. Yeah, when you sprout nonsense. Come on, Rosemary, let's go see Mr. Eugene, how Mr. Eugene's doing. Ah, yes. She's a bad voice actor, but, you know. I'm not getting paid for that. Oh, this is- oh, oh, everyone's here. Let me go up here. Anyone here? Anyone home? Anyone here? Nope, okay. I'm going back down. Gonna make sure I cover all bases. Can I can I go inside the go inside here and see how it, what it looks like? Because can I can I? Because I'm able to go in there before. Get out the way. Uh, it looks like all the all the, the people are here. Or at least all the men are. A lot of old ball. A lot of people have flushed along here here. But you know that's besides the point. What's going on? Hmm. You two have heard, I'm sure. Oh, is this how he looks? I don't, oh, wait, wait, we saw him before. Like, I think, I, I don't remember seeing like this picture of him though. I don't know, I don't remember, but he looks nice. Kind of, not of, really sparkly eyes. <laughs> I mean, everyone has sparkly eyes. We have, though we're trying to figure out what happened. I'm ruined, and that's what happened. Oh no, Eugene. <sighs> As I said before, Eugene, we will do all we can to help. He looks like he's just fed up with everything. He's just given up on the world. He's like, oh, I have to work with these imbeciles all day. We'll gather the lads and send them out to the patrolled outskirts. Are we absolutely certain they were stolen? Hmm. About that, at least. Those horses were hag ridden, I tell you. Oh, Joshin. Oh, hi. Good to see you calling me witch again. I thought you would. Not this nonsense again. I tell you, lad, there's a witch in Kieferberg. Even if they were hag ridden, and who would you say that is? I don't know which. Mm, okay, I have to think about this because I don't want necessarily my suspicion to go up because there's nothing to be suspicious of. But I don't think I'm a witch. I feel like this is antagonizing him, and, and they're basically kind of starting a fight because he basically called us a witch. So if I do this, like I said, it's antagonizing him. Like, oh, you think it's me again? Yeah, old man, and. Yeah, but still gonna start a whole fight, so I think I think this is probably the right one. So we'll go with this one. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I think I'm right. Now that you mention it. It's a sad day for Mr. Eugene, old Josh, and this isn't the time. <sighs> I'll ask you not to try folks patience, old Josh. And yeah, yeah, there it is. I was like, uh, this part of an antagonism, this will probably raise my suspicion. See, I'm a smart, I'm a smart cookie, you know. I can plan through things. Besides that one time where I got into it with, um, 
What's her name? Wilma? Or is it Wilma? I think it's Wilma. I got into got into with Wilma. Basically, she insulted me, so I was like, you know, I'm gonna assault you back. And for some reason, you know, because if you assault somebody, that basically means you're just you're just a witch. You're a witch, and you know that's that's the only possible solution. Not just them having a bad attitude, but you know, or anyone else's for that matter. Witch or no witch, folks, someone had to do it. No two ways about it. Without as much as a trot or a neigh. All there was when I got there this morning was Bernhard, Bernhard, Bernhard's pig in a saddle. Don't brought me into this, lad. I already told you I had nothing to do with it. Which, personally, I believe him because it seems really just weird. Why would somebody take someone's horse and then he would place the saddle on a pig? That makes really no sense. Only one part of thing in your mind would be like, he's trying to set him up. But even then, why would he put a saddle on a pig? Does that pig suddenly just was like, you know, today I'm feeling a little spicy. <laughs> I want to put a saddle on me. Like, that's the only way I can see that going. So I don't see how it could ever be him unless he's 3D chessing in this and, like, putting the saddle in there. So people could think he's being framed and it couldn't be him. That's, that's the only way I can see this going. What am I to blame then? The witch? <gasps> Let's keep calm now, folks. He's not having it. His, his entire business has gone down the drain because of these horses. He's out of here. <sighs> Can't fault the poor lad for it, can we, folks? Finn Gordo. G Gordu? Gord? I don't know. And I will take a look around the outskirts. I'll go with you, Gustav. And we should ask Eugene if he'd like to join us, too. Is there any way we can help Mr. Gustav? Girl. Keep folks calm, Elise, and go about your day as normally as you normally would. Leave it to us, lads. We'll get to the bottom of this. Which I think something it does nothing pertain to this, but them saying lads is more of a was it European thing? Question mark? Because I know people like like areas around like England. You know, in the UK, they would call like lads is like a more abbreviation for like men. I would say, or here it'd be like, I guess leave it to the boys or leave it to the to the guys. For them, it's like lads. So, yeah, this is something I observed and I was just thinking of. Nothing crazy. Folks truly are on edge today. I ought to be careful with what I say about town. Really? No. Could never. Oh, it's a rainbow there. It's like I go around town and start talking to these, these people. Anyone here? Always gotta check the windmill. Never know. Windmill's a hot place. Hello. Can I can I talk to you? Come join our search party. You take I take it. Oh, come to join our search party. I take it. Oh, I don't think I would have. I don't think I would be much help. I was wondering if there was anything I could help with. I appreciate the thought, lass. We're at a, a bit of a loss, you see. Oh, how so, Mr. Henrich? We can't put our finger on where to start. And we wouldn't want to search, search Kieferberg. Last thing we want is to get under folks' skin. I understand. We should, be, we should search as far and wide as we can. No two ways about it. Even if only a couple of prints 
we ought to find something. May the Lord hear you, Henrich. You don't seem too hopeful, Mr. Eugene. Proper stallions don't vanish overnight, lass. Whoever did this knew exactly what they were doing, I'd say. I know nothing about horses, so... Well, I know a stallion is a male horse, at least. And a mare is a female horse. I know that much, basically. But I would assume that horses don't just, like he said, vanish. Properly trained ones at that. Just they are kind of loyal. Oh my god, here she is. Puppy. It's you. I think this is... I think it's a good thing we got that, um, grape juice. Pretending not to see me? Were you? For goodness sake. Oh, uh, here we go. Her name's changing again. Maggie. I don't have time for this. Give me the grape juice, Elise. I didn't have the breakfast. I didn't have bre breakfast today, so... That's it. I'm telling you, telling your auntie you're begging for food again. <laughs> oh. Oh, but I'm not beg but begging, Elise. I saw y you have a goat now. That, mm, that's not my goat. That, that's a wild one, if I'm being quite honest. Why am I not allowed to have a goat? <laughs> Golly, Elise, you're dirt poor. How would you get your hands on a goat? <laughs> I'm trying to say it properly, so I'm adding the stutter in there. But I feel like I'm making myself sound like an idiot. <laughs> Why, you... I, I see we are... I see we have a uh, understanding, Elise. Actually trying to do this is actually messing my own self up. Now pass the grape juice, or s someone's getting an earful. Luckily, I have grape juice. For goodness sake. Here you go, you glutton. Dare tell anyone about that wretched goat, and I swear I'll... Oh boy, oh boy. You're so generous, Elise. I can't believe this is working. You blackmailing me? Yeah, I can't believe it's working. Crazy. Mommy. Why, you... <laughs> Personal, what a beat the little girl. I mean, I mean, I would have told her her mom that she's doing bad things. I would never hurt a child. Let's just keep. <laughs> Out with it. Let's move on. Out of my sight, Mindy. <laughs> Bring me some let, huh? Some lead Lubachin tomorrow, won't you? Isn't that the the girl girl's name? Our friend's name? What the fudge is that? Huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna go search. Hurry it up! For goodness sake. I'm gonna go searching for what the fudge she's talking about. She's going to work me like a donkey at this rate. I have no idea what she's talking about. Sorry for, sorry for my, I sound like my voice is um, in a different direction because I'm looking at my phone since so that's what I use to look at chat. I need to see what she is on about. What is this Lev Chan stuff? Well, I probably should talk to everyone, but I want to go to um, Granny Gretel and see if she's selling this magical Lev Chan stuff she's talking about, because I have no idea. Oh, there's a lot of people to talk to. Oh my god. I mean, there's always a lot of people to talk to, but they're scattered throughout the entire place. Hi, Granny Gretel. It's always loving seeing you, Elise. It's always level lovely seeing you. I'm dying. Oh, here it is. Th -th -th 30 This girl has lost her mind. Oh my god. Oh my god. A bundle of cookies made with different doughs, filling, and to um, toppings. She is gone too wild that's practically over half my savings left 
I'm about to think. Oh, just buying this. Like, I don't know how much. Like, I don't know much how much my suspicion is gonna go up if I don't do this. Cause if it's only one, I can easily get it down. But personally, I don't want to take the chance. Cause if she gives me like a bunch, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look this up. I don't know how much she gives me, but for now, I'm just gonna take the hit. God, my my pockets are feeling less heavy by the by the hour <laughs> we have more than enough bread if anything else anything else some pretzels maybe on um, granny granny you know i love you but if you could lower down those uh, prices for this uh pretzels and we can start talking right now they're too expensive <laughs> too expensive granny i should probably how much food do I have? Yeah, I have two, so I probably start eating. There we go. I'll save these two for last. Like, there's no reason for me to get to the top. I mean, I probably could. No reason not to, to be quite honest. Might as well do it. Okay, now that I've basically gotten everything I need for the next day. Let's talk to these guys. Who is this person? Oh, it's good. It's good. I don't know the person's name. I can't say. Uh, you have to remember. I sometimes only see sometimes their back profile. Very, maybe their side profile at best. <laughs> Seeing his full face threw me off. Um, you got the reins, Tristan. Right here. No need to fret. Thinking of helping us out, please. I don't think I could be of much help, but if there's something else, I just last. You best leave this to us, Elise. Eugene and Henrich are taking their time, aren't they? Give the man a moment, Tristan. The longer we wait about, the less chance we have of finding them, though. It must... It was most likely just some tasteless prank. If some tasteless spring, they probably should have, you know, come back out to now. I guess, you know, with, if this was a prank, let's say, let's just say, theoretically, if this was a prank, they will most likely not want to be found out. They most likely will probably bring the horses back at nighttime because you can tell how everyone's really shaken up and very not so happy. But if they found out it was a prank made by somebody, which it could be, possibly, don't know. They would not like that person. They would not be a happy camper to that person, let's just say. Who do, who do, who do you think did it then? Now that's... Yeah. This kind of talk won't take us anywhere, lads. We're not even sure we'll find anything out there. Okay. So this is a task we need. I don't know what she necessarily wants. I can find out. I'm starting to worry, Elise. Over what, Miss Elma? Freight isn't available right now, so you'll have to do it. Uh, won't you fetch me some apples from the orchard? Ooh. Not right now, but... Sounds interesting. Certainly. This old hag. <laughs> crazy. Okay, let's go talk to these guys over here. It's rather strange, I must say. Ah, Elise. Is everything alright? Oh, you haven't heard? There's a thick fog about town last night. Oh, there was a thick fog about town last night, you see. I didn't notice it either, I have to say. Fog, you say? I wouldn't have given it much thought, but... It's perfectly possible whoever took Eugene's horses made us made use of it, you see. You're starting to sound like Miss Audily, Miss Matilda. Oh, don't you ever say such a thing again, Elise. She was, she sounded so offended. She was like, don't try to rub me in with that crazy lady. I might be old, but I'm not senile. <laughs> it's best I go, Miss Matilda, you know, 
um, where to find me should you need me. Also, um, Leb, I think her name is still, her name is literally like the cookie. Is she named after the cookies, actually? That's possible, actually. Maybe it's spelled a little different, I don't know, but it looks it's basically the same to me. That said, you'd best keep your distance from Otterly, you hear. Old Josh in too. At least she's like an actual good person. One of the nice old people in this this town. There's actually a few of them, but mm, you know. Not over all of them. You know what I'm talking about. Otterly, Joshin. What is her name? Um, Elma. Yeah, the the, the bad ones. So I'll need to tell us, Miss Otter, uh, Miss Matilda. Okay, none of them with that. I'm actually gonna go check the church too. Oh, oh, mmm. Mmm. Here she is. Looking crazy as ever. Also, if you're new here, if you're wondering why I'm going around town talking to everyone, it's so to really, you know, like learn the story about how everything's going on. Also, because a big part of this is talking to everyone and learning the story of what's going on. Because personally, I could literally just skip all the days and not talk to a single person, if I'm being quite honest. But that doesn't seem like really fulfilling of the story in itself. So I'd rather like talk to everyone to really get to know them, build their characters, because that's literally this entire thing. It's all about the characters and getting to know them and stuff. And also helps me understand what's going on, like I kind of said before, about what's going on in the story. So I can kind of make a better judgment, because if I didn't, then I would have... When I first met Otterly, I was like, oh, she's she's sweet, she's just a little misled. But now I'm like, um, she's a little misled in the way wrong direction. Like, really, she's kind of part of the problem right now. She's a little senile, a little go 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 fuck go puffs right now. <laughs> so, yeah. Along with like old Josh and that's just my uh, thinking because I want to fully experience the story and I want you guys to also fully experience the story with my terrible voice acting as well. Um, <laughs> ah there you are Elise. Goodness gracious Otterly. Miss Otterly insists the horses were hag written Elise. Is hag written like a witch term? Like when a witch steals a horse? I don't, I don't know. I've been trying to bring her to reason, but what reason, alas? Give it a rest, Otterly. Old Joshin's beyond reasoning with everyone. With everyone can see that, but you. Honestly, Miss Otterly, since uh, since you like this witch so much, well, this clearly seems like a bad option. Like, let's be quite honest. So I'm gonna go with this one because I don't really want. To get my suspicion up. This isn't a uh, try to get every ending playthrough, so. Do you think this is what Miss Eugene needs right now? Oh, that poor lad. This isn't about the lad, Elise. Only it is, Otterly. We ought to respect the lad's feelings here. It's not about him, even though his horses were stolen, which is his business, his livelihood. You know, his like entire business is basically just upped and poofed gone so he is making you no know, income now so yeah it's not like it's about him so like his stuff was stolen or anything you know, forget him <laughs> it's his loss at the end of the day there's nothing we can do truth be told we just have to hope the lads find something you all regret this so careless you will all regret being so careless there we go yeah once again I guess I could understand they're actually being a witch because I'm pretty sure there is actually there's actually a witch because I'm pretty sure we met her. But I don't know if this is actually her doing, which is the weird part. This could be though, but I don't think so. Uh, Elise, do you know any way to tell? I wonder, tell what Miss Brunhild? Whether she's having a boy or a girl, Elise. She's been keen on finding out. Why would, why would, why would we know if you're having a boy or a girl? We're not doctors, nor do we have equipment. A little too keen, to be honest. 
You're making too much of it. It's a harm- it's harmless fun, that's all. I did it too when I was expecting... Alpf? How did I say his name? Alpf? I think? Alpf? Alpful? 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 Got it. That's why I told me how to say his name yesterday, and I- not yesterday, the last stream, but I can't remember now. I can't say fortune. I can't say fortune. Telling is every... Is ever a good way to pass one's time. Oh, I would never. Would it count as fortune telling, Miss Aring? Aran? How doesn't it, Elise? Oh, that reminds me, Dorothy is done. It's just recently said the water turned out clear, which could mean it's a boy. Oh, so someone did the fortune telling and the water turned clear, so it's a boy. Okay. Uh, you children don't know when to stay put. Ah, okay. Anything down here? I think we're going this way. I think we already talked to everyone we can over here. There's no one really left since we got back, so... I think I'm about to have to do some jobs, get some money, because I'm broke. Oh, I need to talk to the rest of these people. Yeah. 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 God. I don't think there's anyone up here. Okay, let's talk to Freya first. <laughs> hey, Freya. You're looking rather lost there, Freya. Ah, oh, Elise, I hadn't seen you there. I can tell. I'm still wondering who could have done such a thing. Are you certain Mr. Jean didn't simply forget to lock the gate last night? How would you explain a saddled pig then? Right. I've forgotten about that. It sounds like a tasteless prank, Elise. As sad as that to say. Oh, if only there was something I could do to make it better. Why don't you make something for Mr. Eugene? Make something? Like what? They're out searching the woods. They'll be hungry later, I wager. Oh, Lisa, that's such a wonderful idea. I didn't even say anything, Freya. I'll bake every, anyone, everyone a pie. How about that? Oh, could you make me one? Because we're, we're starving here. All we eat is bread. That's a lot of pies. In that case, I best get to work right away. Remember, get you get, get your girl a pie, your, your girlfriend a pie. Not in that way though, but did you get me a pie. Hello. The fog certainly helped. That's that being so, Wilhelm, I ought to wonder if wouldn't folks hear the trotting. Clever, aren't you? Almost as if you were there yourself. Whoa, whoa. Like, why are you accusing me of such things all of a sudden? Wait, was it Bertha who I didn't like? Or is it... No, I think it was... I don't know who it was, but I know she's part of the Gossip Club. Part of the three... The three witches, if you would so uh, call them. Not three witches, but basically the three mean girls. The old Mean Girls, really. I forget which ones, and I think Bertha's there. Uh, Elma, Wilma, I don't, not Wilma, Elma, is it El? Something Ma, that's all I remember, but. And there's another person, I forget who it is. They're very mean, very mean, bitter women. <laughs> oh, what if I was? Getting a little bratty here, are we? Okay, I don't know which one to do here because they're both bad <laughs> oh but if i was i feel like this would probably be the reasonable this one would be the reasonable one i feel like here uh getting a little batty here are we i feel like this is one confessing right here uh I don't know which one actually, if I'm being quite honest. 
feel like this one's directly just coming at her because I've learned that the more you try to insult people, the more likely you are to be a witch because, you know, only witches insult people, which, you know, it's not like she did that herself to us, but, um... Let's go with this one. Now let's go with this, this one. Let's entertain your silly idea, why don't we? My, don't be silly, Elise. I was just jesting. Today isn't the day to rob folks up, you two. Why? I'm doing no such thing, Ludwig. You should have been rallying me up since the, uh, Sunday. What if I truly were the witch? Oh no, I think this might have been that bad one. Come now, lass. There is no need to entertain such no this nonsense. You're playing with fire, Miss Bertha. Wouldn't you say? My, what a horrible thing to say, Elise. It's best you think of before you speak. Miss Bertha, let's let the witch truly be one of us. That's not funny. Uh, Lassie, that's a threat. Uh, this is the bad one. This definitely was the bad one. You've had your fun, Elise. You should move along now. Yep, that was definitely the bad one. How much did I go up by? How do I tell again? It's not locket. Is it map? Uh... I don't know how you tell your progress for suspicion. I really don't know. But if there's only one, that I should be able to get it down easily, if I'm being quite honest. It's not the end of the world. Here she is. This is the one I'm talking about. She's part of the Mean Girl Club. Wilma, there she is. It's Wilma, Bertha. They're all mean, mean women. Being old women. <laughs> frightening, uh, uh, frightening, isn't it, Elise? What is Miss Wilma? The horse. Mariel, I'm pretty sure it's her name, is actually a nice old lady. She's one of the nice ones. Uh, along with Matilda. I mean, both of them were also were our grandma's, uh, basically sisters in terms of like best besties, best friends. The horse lasts. If there truly is a thief on the loose. Oh, I'm having Wilma lock Wilma lock every window in my inn tonight. Oh, she owns the inn. And Wilma uh just works there. Oh. Are they related somehow? Because I feel like they must be. Literally, they have the same curly hair. It's just um they must be. They don't have, we don't know anyone's last name, but I think they're related. The only way you can tell someone's related is by their hair color. And if they say they're related. Oh, I'm having... Well, my luck every window. I read that. Okay. Why, I might even do it myself right now. There's no need to do such... Do need to overreact, Miss Wilma. How's an, an overreaction? Truly, Elise, I hope you lock your front door this morning. Are you locked your front door? No, I keep it wide open, just like the back door. <laughs> Cause it's always wide open, even at nighttime. Of course I did, Miss uh, Mariel. Um, did you? Did you though? Cause I'm pretty sure when uh, Mar Ra uh, Rosa Marie came in, that door wasn't locked. Oh, I can only hope whoever did this doesn't try to ruin my uh, the festival. I wouldn't go that far, Wilma. Okay, so I think that's basically us talking. Oh, I forget here. I gotta start coming to this place because I forget this is even a place. I don't know if people might come here. They could, but I just completely forget about it. I start checking this place. I gotta probably miss the event. I think I basically talked to everyone. I didn't go inside the church though. I, could, I don't usually go inside the church very much, but I could go inside there and see if I, there's anyone to talk to. I've already talked to these people, right? 
I don't think I talked to them. Which there probably should be no one in the church since Father Hans is usually the only one in the church. Oh, no, there are people in the church. See, I was about to just let this go by. I don't want to. I don't want to. I think he's learning how to write. Someone's trying to get an earful, huh? Oh, at least what am I doing? What am I to do with him? I don't have time for this. I ought to be out there. Rune, Jacob gets a play because they are done with their daily reading. Now, if you don't settle down and I don't want to, I want to was I don't want to go play. I want to go away. What? Does Alf seem to be acting a little strange to you, Miss Dorothea? It's because of the goats, Elise. Rune told Alf was to lend a hand this morning, but I don't want to. They're ill, Elise. There's blood in their milk. Their eyes are infected. Ooh, this sounds really bad. I see. Alf won't listen to anyone, and poor Groon is so angsty. Jacob's been trying to keep them both calm, but... Let me go, Miss Dorothea. No one's holding you. You can go if you want to. Calm down. After you do your reading, Alf, you ought to calm down. There's a lot of things going on. Okay, I need to talk to these guys. I don't think I talked to them though. Make certain you find them, Gustav. Easier said than done, Father. I'm not too confident we'll find them, to tell the truth. Eugene needs our support, folks. No matter the outcome. You won't find a thing, I tell you. Oh, there's old Joshin again. And you would know, huh? Why wouldn't he? I think this is a good option. It's a it's horses we're talking about. They couldn't have flown away. Nonsense. They were hag ridden. Do try to keep calm, old Joshin. The lass is right, old lad. Horses can't fly. Pegasus can. Even if we don't find them, there uh, there has to be something. You said you weren't confident you'd find them, Mr. Gustav. Thieves don't usually leave their plunder out in the open, do they? You must make every effort to fix this, Gustav. I understand, Father. There you go, my suspicion is down. Aha! Down. Uh, it's up as quick as it's down. Yeah, that's. I think that's the right way to say it. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go see what the job is over here so I can move on with the day what did they want me to do seek room here she is ah uh, Elise what's wrong with you two why you play with us Elise I don't know this is a job is this a job are they giving us money for this I mean, we have extra money in the bank, so I don't see a reason not to necessarily play with them. But this is definitely not a job for with, for money, I could say that much. Maybe it is, because he had like a... Um, he literally had a um, broom over his head. That's usually what the jobs have. I think it is. I think it, I think it is, because it wasn't like a time event. So, sure, why not? But you better have something for my time. Ah, we are being paid, I think. We want to play for a little while, at least. All right, all right. Oh my god, three bread. Do you need Rosemary's help? It'll cost you two extra. Oh my god. Hmm. Uh... Actually, before this, how about we take a little break? Because I gotta use the bathroom actually really quickly. So I'll see you in a moment, people.
and we are back. So, uh, yeah, I went to the bathroom, I did a few other things actually along the way. I was in the bathroom that long. Um, I don't know what this means. I don't know what kind of hope. I don't know what I'm doing with these kids, if I'm being quite honest. I don't know if I gotta play tag or hide and seek. I mean, we have the extra money to be able to get the bread from Iguanas. It's just we're in a really good financial situation right now. I don't know if, like, this is actually worth it, though, because this is 20, this is 20 gold right now. This would, I mean, this means I would have to literally get 30 gold just to make a 10, like, more gold profit. Or at, like, least one more. Two more, basically. I need like 20 something more gold, technically. But more or less 30 because 10, I mean literally just, a piece of bread is like 10 pieces of gold, so at least I would need 30 pieces of gold to make our actually a really good profit, so. Uh, let's hope that that's the case. Let's, let's go with it. Gross, I don't want this stinky rat anywhere near me. Let's see if this actually helps. Rats kiss the rat. What? Okay. The blue pass. Our yellow pass. What does that mean? What am I passing? Oh no! Okay. Okay. I'm supposed to constantly keep pressing R? I don't, I don't, oh wait, I'm pressing the wrong thing. Oh, oh I was pressing W, mm. Okay, so I know I'm supposed to do this time. I pressed R! You know what? Whoa! Oh my god! Oh my god! These kids are insane! No! I got a really high score there for a second. Whoa, I got like a 94. How good is 94? That's a C? Okay. I don't know how much money that's gonna give me, but I'm gonna try. I wanna try again, because I feel like I'm actually... Before I did it really bad, because I was pressing... I was pressing W instead of E. So that's my own fault. Okay. Okay, now I'm just being stupid. Okay. I pressed E! Oh my god, I'm wasting money! Chopping wood is the only passion for me. I promise you, it's only chopping wood. Chopping wood is the only thing I can ever do good with. And how is Rosemary helping with this? I saw her like a few times and that's it. <laughs> Jesus. I did worse than I did before. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, this is worse than a C. It 
it's a D. Like, oh my god. Am I really gonna try to do this again? Am I really gonna try to do this again? Yes, yes I am. I'm gonna waste all my money on this. I'm about to waste all my money on this. I'm about to waste all my money on this. Okay. 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 Have to be quiet, I have to concentrate. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, my score's already better than it was basically last time, so this is looking a lot better for me. <laughs> No. Jesus. Oh, that's my own fault, that's my own fault. Okay, my score's a lot better though. I have to at least get an A. Come on, A. Ah, oh, B. That's, that's as good as it's gonna get. I've already wasted too much money. I've wasted a whole like piece of bread on this. I've wasted a piece of bread. Three pieces of bread, actually, if I'm being quite honest. Actually, it's three pieces, actually. No, I would actually have need to have 30. 30 plus, actually, to make an actual profit. Oh my god. I And I added the extra, I've wasted basically 40 pieces of gold on this one freaking mini game. Oh my god, I am. <laughs> and crippling debt. No, I'm not doing this again. No. I, I be doing, hopefully I get like a lot of money for this. I passed, thank God. You're terrible at this, Elise. Shut up, shut up, shut up. <laughs> Still, here's what we owe you. That. I held back on purpose. That is actually. Technically, it's 30. Actually, I didn't make a profit on this at all. This is this is this is terrible. The whole thing was terrible. I should have just took him to see him. Left. I held back on purpose, Groom. No, you didn't, you liar. Why you? Okay, I'm never doing this again. I never again. I can tell you that much. Never again. Am I ever doing that again? I lost 30 30 gold. Actually, 40. In that one mini game, a romantic date is available. For who? Because I'm about to not do this romantic date because I'm looking really bad. I have no food. I'm basically my last legs. Who do I have a romantic date with? Oh, it's Freya. Does she give us food? I love her, but does she give us food? Because what time of day is it? First time ever. I've forgotten. I think it's like the last day I can actually do anything. Thank God I got the, um, the cookies already. I'm poor. I just want to talk to these people first. <laughs> I don't need to spread this nonsense about town, Wilhelm. Why, I don't think our last here would agree with you, father. Me, Mr. Wilhelm? Don't mind him, Elise. He wants to spend, spread word to Primdorf. Send word to Primdorf about what? Why, to find out if they're seen a horse, of course. I don't think they'd sit well with Eugene William. Uh... He wouldn't want Primdorf folk to know. Could hurt his business. Bah, you folks have no vision. Maybe, but I would appreciate it if you kept um, to yourself on this matter, Wilhelm. I mean, personally, 
keeping to yourself is not a bad idea, but if you probably want to ask or go by the person that, you know, kind of got the stuff stolen from first, since it's can affect him, probably want to talk to him first before you go uh, spreading, I want to say rumors, spreading the information. It's not as though I could gallop there anyhow. Okay, so that's the whole situation. Uh, let's go to the fountain, make sure no one's there. Because I haven't been really checking here, if I'm being quite honest. Oh, no one's here. I might still go see Freya, but... My bank account's looking mighty dry. Mighty dry. I lost so much freaking money on that one game. Never again. I'm going to... I should have went apple picking. Ah, Elise. I was mean to tell you. Uh, what now? Is everything alright, Elise? Out with the rosemary. What happens? I saw a birdie hopping about is all. For goodness sake. My, you're on edge today, Elise. I know, Rosemary. I'm sorry. No, that's alright. I'll make certain I get used, get us some more mushrooms for supper tonight. Also, if it sounds like I'm a little stuffy, I did have to take my dogs out, and it's very cold, so my nose is uh, a bit not so clear anymore. <laughs> it's cold out there, I promise you. Oh, out with it, Mandy. I swear I didn't eat it. Auntie, help me out here, Elise. Tell Molly to give me back the cheese she took. Jesus, the name changes. Cheese? Miss Lorelei? I'm not gonna stutter. I'll, <laughs> not with my nose now. But I didn't take anything, Auntie. I. It spoiled Nancy. For goodness sake, I can't let you eat that. Oh, but if only I. But if only eat a little bit. So you did take it, you. Give it back right this instant. Let her eat it, Miss uh, Lorelei. She'll learn her lesson. Not a chance, Elise. She already mucks up, mocks about all day as is. I can't let her get ill. I'm not mucking about, Auntie. And what will you say you're doing then? Why, I'm making certain we can eat all this cheese. Oh, for goodness sake, personally, I don't see how someone can just eat cheese like that. It's just like cheese by itself. All the way I'm eating cheese is if it's on like a burger or it's like, you know, other things that usually just have a cheese. Like, I mean, like cheese salad is not bad. Like having cheese in the salad and stuff isn't bad, but just eating cheese by itself no. And this isn't like a little... I'm assuming this cheese she has is not like a little thin slice. It's like a big willow cheese. Or if not a slice, in my opinion. From what I can probably most likely tell. Hello there, girls. What's going on here? Are you coming as well, Elise? I'm going where, Miss Marilla? Marilly? Ah, oh, we're helping out with the stalls, you see. Uh, you should join us, Elise. I'm not certain I have time, Miss Burnhill. That's all right, dearie. We've all been busy today. Some more than others, losing money, betting, basically. <laughs> Casino. Oh, I wonder how the lads are doing out there. Going out patrols day and night like this. Truly. So, that's where they all are, huh? Feels a little empty without them hanging about town, doesn't it? Oh, I can I can only wonder what Kieferberg will be like in a few years. Cause all the men are out staking. What is it? Like he has to stake stake out basically. Uh I think I need to go back this direction actually. I need to go and see what I, I will do the romantic um things but i want to go up this direction because this allows me to go to the stables and stuff so 
because I don't know if anyone's actually here. Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Oh, hello. Oh, so there's a saddle on it. Oh, all the... There we go. I remember seeing a snake or two hiding uh, in this hay not long ago. Stacked with hay and firework from Berg's stables house. Much of the town's livestock. Okay. Can I get to the pigs? Piggies? Piggies? Okay. Uh, is anyone once again? I check, gotta check the windmill just in case. You never know. Gotta check the windmill. Check the windmill. Birds fly away. Sorry, I had to get my dog. She's right here next to me now. Uh, there we go. Uh, no one's basically here, so I guess I'll go back down. Oh wait, no, there is someone here. Oh, she has a job for me, but I'm probably gonna do like the um, the date with Freya, even against my better judgment of my pockets. <laughs> uh, I already talked to everyone, I believe, right? That's basically everyone. Have I looked outside of town? No, I don't think I've talked to these two. Matilda or Audily. Oh, I've had it, Matilda. I said Audily. What else did I say, Matilda? Yeah, this is Matilda. Uh, I've had it, Matilda. All that fretting is of no uh, use to Kieferberg, Audily. You two, Elise. Huh? You've come to mess with me again, I know it. Now I kind of just feel bad for her when she says it like that because it feels really like she's kind of gone, see now she's gone old and she like, she's actually having a life crisis right now. And even though I said bad things about her, she being crazy, um, it feels bad like seeing people who are like older in their days kind of start losing themselves and they're basically just on edge all the time for no exact reason because the outside world it seems like they're gone insane and crazy but you know with age comes a lot of bad things and I kind of just feel bad because you come to mess with me again because if there are some people messing with her that's just sad no one should respect the elderly even if I call them crazy for, crazy for Cocoa Puffs uh, just I don't think I'm sorry elderly even if you are crazy. No one's here to mess with you. We just want to help you and stop. And hopefully you can stop making everyone... Um, stop all this crazy nonsense for going on. Because you're kind of accusing me of being a witch right now. I've never gone out of my way to mess with you, Miss Audily. It's no use, theory. Audily's going on about this all day. All of Kieferberg thinks I've lost my mind. Well, let me... Yeah, she might have lost her mind, but they actually might be a witch, I will say. She might not be entirely wrong about a witch being here, but the way she's going about it is a bit, let's just say, less desirable. Not this again, Audily. You need to look after your health, Miss Audily. You'll see, both of you. I kind of feel bad for her still. Oh, hmm. Here's this one. What's going on down here? Uh, I don't want to talk with these people. Well, it was more or less Wilma than anything. It's best to stop butting into folks' business, Wilma. Got that right. Always butting into people's stuff. Me. Ah, there she is. Just in time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's about to be the Wilma show. Where she takes charge of everything and kisses people for no reason. Just because he's mean. Four. Don't you two start, please. I've just about had it. 
I've had it too. I'm the one getting accused and bombarded. All you have to do is sit there and be quiet. What do you mean you've had it? I didn't do anything, Miss Arena. You always arrive right when we're talking about the witch. Oh, here we go. Here we go again. I had to adjust my headphones because let's hear what she has to say today. This witch, this witch nonsense again. Uh, which one would it be good? Cause I promise you, Wilma's like options are getting like actually getting hard for me to tell which one's actually the good one. What are you trying to say, Miss Wilma? It's witch nonsense again. This one seems. Hmm. I don't know. Let's say this witch nonsense again. Have we all had enough of this, what's Mil uh, Miss Wilma? I surely have, and it's only been two days. Still, we ought to be taking this threat seriously. If anything, you two seem to be a little too at ease. Oh, for goodness sake. No, Wilma. I'm very much done with all of this nonsense. She's like, I'm too old for this. I'm making a lot of a racket for no reason. Let's wait for the lads to get back. It's all we can do. I can only hope they find those horses. Okay, that was the good one. Thank God. I can't deal with any more Wilma's shenanigans. Her and Bertha, promise you. The bane of my existence. Why are you two up there before? Oh, no, that's because I played with you. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's why you're here. Uh, let's see what they want to talk about. Oh, go away, Elise. Okay, well, that's that's nice. It's gotten into her, Jacob. I don't really know. I think it's because of the goats, but it's not because of the goats. What is it then? I'm not telling. I'm not telling. I can't force you, but. Keep it to yourself then. I, oh, I will say I can't force you because there's no reason not to. But what's the use of worrying if you won't let us help, Groon? At least it's right, Groon. Oh, it's Alf and Mama. What about them, Groon? They have been mean to me all day. Probably because they're on edge, more likely. Because a lot of bad things are happening. They don't have time for the shenanigans. The tomfoolery. More of so your mama. I'm not sure about Alf. He's just... I don't know what's going on with him fully, so... So it's because of the goats. That's the only reason why they're probably mean to you is because of the goats. Miss Elizabeth's on edge. Yeah, like I said, I suppose. Why don't you keep Groon distracted, Jacob? I'm trying, Elise. I don't want to be distracted. Leave me alone. Oh, just me trying to do a good jester was just lowering down my suspicion. Okay. Well, I guess that would be true because if a lot of people are on edge and stuff and a lot of bad things are happening, I was just here. Why am I coming down here? If there's a lot of tensions going on, you know, bad stuff, and you're being a really mean, wicked person, then I guess they could be like, oh, that's a witch, even though some people are more wicked than others. <laughs> Bertha, um, <clears throat> Wilma, <clears throat> you know, the two wicked ones right now, but well, they're not being called witches. But yeah, yeah, you know, let's probably go talk to them over here. The ghosts aren't actually here anymore. You know, I have to wonder. Resting on top of one another, many blemished, discolored, and wrinkled apples await their turn in the stable. Maybe it's because of the apples, you know, maybe because they're bad. And I do know, I do know, and I understand that animals are able to eat more, uh, I say disgusting, but more aged things than us humans. Because literally, if it's bad for us, doesn't mean necessarily bad for them because they 
take in bacteria differently than us, technically, because they could really eat some things while we could not, basically. Because, like, literally, it's, sometimes food is, like, a little too old for us. We'll give them to our dogs because they can actually eat them and then eat. They'll be just doing just fine, like, they had themselves a good meal and just be like, yeah, that was good stuff. But doesn't mean you should be giving your dogs, like, old, old food. Don't do that. That's bad. That's bad. Don't do that. Or any ammo at that fact. Uh, what's, what's going on with you two? Oh, what am I to do? Miss Elizabeth? You've heard, I suppose. About the goats? About what old Joshin said, too? I don't think I have, Miss Elizabeth. I don't know what to do, my dear. My goats are so ill, I don't know if they'll make, make it through the night and... Excuse me, I had a little bird. Old Joshin came by and called Mama a witch. Whoa! Whoa, not only did he call me a witch, you know what? Elizabeth, I understand. I understand the the problem here. Because I'm just like you. Old Joshin was calling me a witch. And now you're calling you a witch. It's okay. It's okay. Because we're not witches. Me and you gotta stick together. Us girls gotta stick together like we're in a coven. Like a witch, but we're not witches, so you don't need to worry. You take a little bit of water. Uh, some good water. But yeah, we gotta stick together. But old Joshin is really going off. <laughs> At least, even this, even if like Miss Audley is kind of, you know, like I said, cocoa for cocoa puffs. Uh, old Joshin is just like gone off his hinges. He's going wild, accusing people left and right, apparently. Also with Bulma too, so. Well, no, actually, she's just actually like accusing me. She's just really mean to me, so. She's not un so unhinged. She's just bitter and mean. Oh, he's unbelievable. Poor Leb tried to defend me, but. Leb? Father Han sent her back to church for defending Mama. Okay, we're just going. I'm at a loss, my dear. I don't know what to do. I want to have a word with Father Hans and Old Josh and for you, Miss Elizabeth. No, at least. I already feel bad enough for my poor, for poor Leb. We're not witches. Oh, is that why they've both been so on edge? Because, you know, being called a witch is kind of like a death sentence, if you don't know. I know, Alf. I know. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, old Josh is really going off hinges. I don't think at least at least Miss Audley wouldn't necessarily do that. Yeah, it's time to go talk to these uh people. Let's see what's going on in here. How dare they? Accuse Miss Elith Elizabeth of such things. I'll mess them up. Dare they make her and little Alf, even though I somewhat dislike the child for always being mean to me. But no one deserves to be called a witch. Hi, Leb. What's going on? I heard what happened. Basking in its glory, the image of St. Wolperga solemnly watches over Kieferberg. Oh, I'm supposed to talk to her, not the painting. Or the mural, actually. Ah, uh, Elise. Are you alright, Leb? I'm a little drained is all. You look a little more than drained, Leb. Folks been coming in for prayer all day and earlier. I went to Miss Elizabeth with Father Han and old Josh and he... What's that old geezer done now? He's losing his mind at least. And Father Hans is making it worse. I knew Father Hans wasn't a good person. Not more of a good person, it's just... He's not, um... He doesn't really seem like... The best person sometimes. I want to say he's an antagonist, but definitely not helping in the whole scene. I told him he's um, upsetting folks with all his talk about the witch, which he clearly is. He accused Miss Elizabeth of witchcraft, you see. Wh why would he accuse her of that? Did she decide to poison her own goats or something? Because yes, that's good for business. 
And if she really wanted to do something bad, she could have let everyone eat all that cheese that's gone bad. Not taking it back, because that's also what a witch does, yes. Right in front of the children, too. I couldn't stop him. For goodness sake. I try to stick up for her, and Father Hans, he sent me back to scrub the church floors. Why, that old... Don't make too much of it, Elise. Please. No, no, no. Don't worry, because I'll make just enough of it. Ain't no way they'll come in here calling people witches. All the person that can be called a witch is me. No one else. I can take it, but these poor innocent souls cannot. I've had enough trouble for one day. Alright, well. I'll be back at the bakery later, as usual, Elise. Wait, so is Leb... Is Granny Gretel... Le uh... Uh, Leb's grandma, I think? Question mark? Because she lives at the bakery, so... It's my thinking. There's no one up here, right? Yeah, there's no one up here. So where is Father Hans and the uh, other one at? Because I think we need to have some words, apparently. I don't know. How where have I actually looked so far? I don't think I... I don't know where they are. I was thinking, could we actually even go up to the, um, that place? No, probably not. Where are they actually? Where would they be? Because I haven't seen them. Why like look outside the town first? Because at the end of the day, I'm going to go with and see um, Freya. That's basically the end goal. Are they anywhere up here? Could they be in the crossroads? That's my, my question? Question mark? I don't know. I really don't know where they are. Ah, I'm stuck on the rocks. I don't think they would be up here. That's a bit farther out. It must be somewhere in town. Yeah, I'm just gone crazy. I'm gone insane. <laughs> Cause I don't know if we can actually find Father Hans. But I would like to go speak to him about some concerning matters that I feel affect the whole community as a whole. How much bread do I have? Uh one piece. Very low. So I should probably go stock up. Hi, Gretel. Wait, it's Leb. It's Leb's bakery. Wait. She does live here. It says it right. <laughs> she even has a cookie named after her, or she's named after the cookie, so. I'm assuming this is her grandmother. I'm buying. Uh, let's buy some bread. Probably like three pieces. That's only leaving me with $12 left. Yikes. Okay, so what if... Okay. I buy pretzels. Okay, I thought the pretzels maybe gave me, like, two. I could. Literally, it would actually be more... I want to say more efficient. But I probably should just... Buy the cookies. It's literally the same thing as the bread. It's just all in one, basically. So yeah, might as well just buy this. And then, why not buy some bread? Because we need it. So I already got some bandages from what I can see. Yep, nope, no pretzels. No, I'm good. Thank you. Thank you, Granny Gretel. Where am I going? Okay, let's take an inventory check because I kind of forgotten, even though I just bought everything not too long ago. Uh, inventory. So let's check an inventory check. We have some cookies, which I should probably go ahead and just eat now. So we have two pieces of bread, some grapes, cookies. This is for uh, Muffy, so we can't eat that. Key items, we don't care about those. 
We have two bandages, so we basically heal up two times. We also have the grapes, so technically three times along with the food. But I don't necessarily want to use the grapes. You know what? Actually, that's probably a lot better. This is probably the reason why we don't buy the cookies instead of buying the bread so we can always have at least one bread slot open for when we like need to use it. Understand what I'm saying? So it's like not wasting the grapes. And it's, not, it's like we were saving a piece of bread too, technically. Possibly. I think, I think I'm being smart here, but uh, who knows? Uh, I don't think I've ever checked this. The tender flesh, sweetest nectar, and the good company. Oh, wait. I can use bread? Oh! No, I don't want to do that. So tender flesh is some kind of bread. Sweetest nectar. So I'm assuming we want to use the, the best one. So I best I will give them the cookies. And for the sweetest nectar, I probably give them Walpurga's uh, oil. And the good company, I would have to basically... I don't know what the good company is, personally. I really don't know what the good company is, so... It's, it's a mystery to me. How am I doing with, like, people? Um, Rosemarine, I have one. Freya, I have one. Do I need more? For no. And I have none with Leb. That's sad. I'm sorry, Leb. <laughs> I'm sorry, Leb. I'll just have to check my suspicion, actually. Oh. Oh, there you go. So, I don't know if... I don't know where Father Hans is. I don't want to spend, like, too much time looking around because the stream has already been going on for almost two hours and it's almost you know 12 yeah it's almost 12 a.m so it's basically getting there let's put it like that much as i do love long streams I also like sleeping too <laughs> So where would Thunder Hans be? I'm gonna do like one more check around and then after that I'm going to literally go have myself a good time with Freya. Cause maybe she might even give us food. You know, for her lovely future girlfriend, you know, you know what you're saying? Cause you know, I'm a little poor right now. I lost a lot of money in gambling. <laughs> That's a bad habit of mine. I love gambling. I've already been here, so they can't be here. I know I've already been here. But just in case, I overlooked something. Because it is possible, because I am blind sometimes. I'll look around one more time. Nothing should be over here. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen this view. Granny Holly took me down to the lake once. I remember. That's a really beautiful looking lake. God, I love the art style on this so much. Carved deep into the valley, Kieferberg's lake spreads out between the hills. Ooh, what a nice place. Yep, nothing. Okay, let's go. I think I'll check the, um... What is it? The well? And that would be the only place I really need to check, and that's basically it. Or did I talk to these people? Yeah, I talked to them down here. I already talked to them though, didn't I? I understand Mrs. Wilma's coming from, but... Yeah, I already talked to them, so... Yeah, I'm practically done with that. I already talked to them. I'm gone insane, actually. There's no one here. I've just wasted my a lot of my time, actually. Yay. Well, let's go to Freya. Oh, did I go down this way? No, I have to go around here, a little over here, and down here. And then we'll spend time with Freya and move on with the day. 
there we go. There she is. I'll spend time with her. Why not? Oh. Elise! Ah, uh, Elise, there you are. <laughs> Laudering about... Laudering... Laudering? <laughs> about home, are we, Freya? Isn't she making the pies? Nothing of the sort. In fact, I've been rather busy. You did say you'd be home all afternoon. <laughs> I was going to get a head start on the festival preparations. But what about the pie? The pie you said you were making. I couldn't bear seeing all the Kieferbergs on edge like this. More than on edge, Freya. Town folks are rabid. <laughs> Some more than others. All this witch nonsense is making things worse, too. That's why we ought to bring more cheers ourselves, at least. For these folks. Cheer, you say? There's nothing wrong with wanting to make other people happy, especially when they're, um, clearly not so feeling well. For goodness sake. You know, better than to waste your cheer on these folks, Freya. I know. Don't say that, Elise. Look. I've been baking pies for everyone all afternoon. Yes, you told me. I guess this is also for people who didn't, like... They cover all bases, you know, just in case if people didn't decide to go around talking to other people. That's so many. Uh, I may have gotten carried away a little. A little, you say? Also, how does she have, like, the money and food and stuff to do this? This is like a whole town, people. I'm working one day just to get freaking a few pieces of bread and she's over making pies by the dozens. It was an excuse to try my mom's recipes. Your mother's recipes? I guess she used to keep a lot of journals. Oh, it's wonderful! For sewing and baking, for making ointments, anything you can think of. I see! So that's how you know how to do all that. After all, I was too young to learn from her in person. Freya! Oh, right! Ah, oh, before I forget. Great pie, was it? Huh? She gave us pie, oh my god! I love you! Your favorite, silly. It was great pie, wasn't it? Now that you mention it... Ah, I suppose. Make sure you share it with Rosemary. Alright? <laughs> you know what? I know I say, I say we might try to stick to Rosemary with like, you know, in terms of the, um... Pursuing of love interest, but Freya is like really winning my heart over especially with the pie <laughs> But more than just the pie. She's like really sweet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I want to Also if his gifts mean like actually turning Freya into like a golden girl We're gonna have to we have a few words we have to have a fight because I'm not letting Freya Get turned to whatever those girls are now basically ghosts I'm doing it for all of Kieferberg. I couldn't forget about you, could I? I know. I remember yeah. what you said about me showing you gifts, showering you with gifts, but mm. you're truly <laughs> trying to show how I feel, Elise. Oh my god, her whole face is red. Blush, quiet blush. <laughs> oh goodness, you're red as a beet. Whose fault is that, you? Oh, I didn't even say anything that bad, silly. <laughs> One more word and I'll tell Molly about all about these pies. <laughs> At least, you know, she eat them all up. She eat anything. Even sake. spoiled freaking cheese. Which cheese technically is spoiled because it's cheese to get milk. Well, if you know how to make, um... Cheese, you know how the whole process of making, uh, of making cheese from the milk, basically. You know, so yeah. I truly did listen to what you said to me on Sunday, Elise. And everything I've said and done since then, I've meant it. So, 
I'm well aware, well, Freya. Oh, right. Say, I'll be lending Mrs. Uh, Wilhelm. Well, I mean, say, Wilhelm. Wilma a hand by the end tomorrow at dusk. All right. All right. I'll be there. Oh, it could be a little more genuine, Elise. It could be a little less cheeky, Freya. <laughs> oh, but it's so much fun getting you all flustered, Elise. <laughs> Freya? Why, you... I got another piece of Freya heart piece. Yeah, do we get to keep the pie? Cause it's like, you know, the pie is actually an important thing. <laughs> I really do need the pie. I like pie. I don't know, what's going on here? Seems like they're back from looking for the horses, but... Hmm. Horseshoes scattered about, you say? Hmm. Found them just past the logging grounds, but... Why in the Lord names would anyone remove horseshoes? I wouldn't want to uh, lend weight on Josh's nonsense, but... Wake up, lads. They they were haggard, I tell you. Hmm. This isn't the time, old Joshin. We must keep calm. How about we keep? How about we throw this old man in his house and keep him there? Cause he's the problem here. He's the main problem. Thank you. I know he's part of the community, but he's getting, getting a little out of hand. He's off his rocker right now. Thank you for your time today, lads. I'll be moving along now. I've had enough of this wandering about. Oh, Eugene. I'm so sad for him. He lost his entire horse's his entire business. I've never seen him so disheartened, I must say. To think you lads didn't fi even find a trace. We looked everywhere, Miss uh, Merlin. The peaks, the lake. Henrich and Tristan even followed the path to Primdorf. Hmm. We have to give it another try first thing. I found it! I found it! I found the horse! It's right outside! What are you saying, Maggie? Name changes again. It's the truth. It's lying on the ground. Is it alive? Take us to it, Lassie. Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, no. My word. Oh, the poor thing. What in the Lord's name? Oh, my God. What? What's... Oh, my... That horse. It's, saliva is going everywhere. It looks like it's seeing things. That horse is seeing things. Good group. What grief, it's nearly dead. What do you think of it, Eugene? He's exhausted, I'd say. He ran here by the looks of it. No, that can't be. We've only just made it back. We would have found him, or heard him, or... I must say, I'm at a loss, lads. They were hag-ridden. No two ways about it. Not gonna say this actually gave me a little bit of shivers. Seeing this horse like that. This is a horror game, technically, so it's doing the right thing. <laughs> Look at it, gasping for breath. Ew. Look at its eyes. It's seeing things. <laughs> Keep calm, old Joshin. Think you can nurse it back to health, Eugene? I'm taking him back to the stables right now. Is there not like two other horses, technically? I'll lend a hand, Eugene. You fools ought not to touch that horse. Lord knows what the witch has done to it. Not gonna lie, I wouldn't say necessarily believe in the witch nonsense. There actually is probably a witch, but why would they even take the horse? It's weird. It's even I'm like stumped by this mystery. Why are they taking horses? It's so weird. They put a saddle on a pig? 
Everything is just not- the math isn't adding up is what I'm saying. A lot of things are really weird. Too weird. Come now, lads. Let's fetch some him some water. Oh, this is a mess. Hmm. He must have broken free from whatever he was being kept, I suppose. Broke off the reins and ran back to keep a bird. I can't think of... Nonsense, Bernhard. Oh. This old man's about to make me come over there and do some bad things that shouldn't be doing to the elderly. Point your cane at me. How dare you. It's rude to point at people. I'll have... I'll have said it right here, right now, folks. It's best you show some restraint, old Joshin. This isn't. Old Stefan warned us about this. Okay, maybe he wasn't pointing this king and started to act. You know, at least, but it was in my general direction, so I felt threatened. <laughs> uh, oh. Not this old Stefan nonsense again, you old fool. Hmm. We need to keep calm, folks. Arguing about this won't. Have you no memory of his words, Hans? Gustav? He spoke of the ill fortune we'll have of the witch. Uh, folks' livelihood slipping through their fingers. <sighs> old Stefan was tormented. Was a tormented lad on his deathbed. There is worse to come. Mark my words. Hmm. What are we to do with him, father? I say lock him in his house, really. Just wait for him to tire himself out. That's all we can do. Come, folks. Let's head back to town. Oh, this really is... A weird situation going on. Hmm. Things are starting to get a little out of hand, aren't they? A little? Things are getting way crazier. Oh, what's going on? Oh, it's like a little cutscene. That was cool. Oh. Got to meet Frey at the end today? Like now? That's the wrong one. Uh, romantic date. That's later though, it's later, not now. Cause I'm supposed to be tomorrow actually, really? I would think. Uh, help Linda with the apples. Play Kiss the Rat with Jake, never again. Never, never, never again. Will I ever play Kiss the Rat again? God, I'm insane. Never. Okay. As much as I would love to con to do this some more, it is actually late and actually I probably what I should do actually not can go inside of the um, town. Go kick rocks, little child. I'm sorry. I will never play that game again. I'd rather go do the chickens because that's easier than what you're asking me to do ever again. But uh, we've been going on for almost like, uh, yeah, two hours. So that basically means uh, it's probably about time we end this off. Usually I would have actually um, probably, if we had more time and it was later or less later in the day, I would have tried to end the day off at least because I think probably like every day Along with me also constantly talking and yapping, for if we like talking to all the people, it's probably like around three hours to get past one day, so it's not a small amount of time necessarily. But I do hope you enjoyed the stream because I am enjoying really playing this game, like getting to talk to all these people. You know, I like some people more than others, and that can be said true. But learning, getting to learn about other people and trying to solve these mysteries is quite kind of fun and exciting and stuff and building connections with all these people is also <laughs> nice in a sense. Also, really, really interesting. The whole story is like 
I'm also I'm actually been getting really re reeled into what's going on here in this, in this town. So this is all really exciting, I'll say the least. But hopefully you did enjoy the stream, and I uh, hope to see you in the next one. So hopefully you had a wonderful time, because at a time, thing, and place, doing this. Hope you had a wonderful time, everybody, and goodbye, everybody.